Nectar Cannabis, low prices, high you. Do you have anything unfiltered that we couldn't have gotten before? That was pretty good. Like nah. one classic untold. That, that there, you there, could... Yeah, I have one, but I, but I can't I can't mention names. I'll just I'll just mention the coach. Uh, actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'll mention. I won't mention the other name. But we were playing the we were playing the Lakers. Uh, this is my second year in Portland, so 2000. Uh, it's the last couple of games of the season. We're playing the Lakers, and our Vita Sabonis was uh, guarding Sha- uh, Shaq. Shaq hits him. Sabis flops, hits one of his teammates, one of our teammates in the mouth, chips a tooth. Ooh. Guy gets real pissed off, comes in the locker room. He's ranting and raving, and he's real loud. And, oh, fuck you up. And now he's just going in, and, and Sabis is sitting next to me. And if, I don't know if you guys are familiar or have been around long enough to remember our Vita Sabonis, but Sabis was yeah. like... Yes. One of the best passing big men in oh, history. But he was like seven foot tall, like 280, 290. He was built like a, like a tree, right? And he had massive hands and the biggest head you'll ever see in your life. Like huge, it, just huge. Yeah, it was like he, somebody... Like a bobblehead. He was like a living bobblehead. He was like somebody put a keg of beer on his shoulders. His <laughs> head was so big. But, so Savas gets hit. And the dude is in the locker room. He's just, and you know what's funny? It's the same dude that I got high with that night. So that's the funny story. But Savas' locker was next to mine. The dude is going off. And Savas looks at me just like this and says it just like this. I will kill him. (laughs) It was straight Ivan Drago from Rocky. And I'm sitting there and I'm looking at Savas. And I can see in his eyes that he actually meant like, I will choke the life out of him. Right? And then I started thinking, okay, what happens if he gets up? And he puts his big ass hands around his neck. And we're punching him in the head, but his head is so big that he can't even feel it. And he doesn't let go. And then this dude like dies in the locker room. All of this shit went through my head. So I stood up quick. I said, hey, hey, sit down. You're going to get choked the fuck out. And he looked at me, bullshit. And I'm thinking, get him. Just get him. Get him. And then as soon as I did that, he was like, he's going to choke me out. <laughs> and he stopped, like, instantly. He just shut the fuck up. Well, I'll be damned. How about that? Like, the realization that you are about to get the life choked out of you is something special. Man. And then that night, he called me and said, hey, man, why don't you come up to the room and smoke a joint with me? I was like, fuck you. Damn. That was a hell of a day. That was, this, it, that was training day for you. <laughs> Don't smoke this. We no, have I a don't. problem. <laughs> we, <laughs> My God. Man, the locker room stories. Like I have, you know what? I could do more, but I'd have to actually talk about who these people were. And I don't want to do that. That's all right. That was a good one. That was good, right, folks? Big stop at story. All right.